Hi, and welcome to my continuation of my series of reviewing and ranking Jane Bomberry leading up to No Time to Die. So, uh, let me give you a, a background and then I'll jump in and tell you uh, what Jane Bomberry I'm doing for the day, for this video, leading up to No Time to Die. So, um, there's a Jane Bomberry coming out this year, both to be. Uh, in October of 2021, uh, No Time to Die, my most anticipated movie of the last two or three years. Um, if, it, if it still gets delayed, which I hope it don't, I'm a big Game Bond fan. You can see the teacher I grew up with in my childhood. Um, then, uh, uh, then if it gets delayed, uh, Again, to next year or the year after, then it'll still be my most anticipated movie. Okay? Like, like, uh, next year, I think it's like, uh, my anticipated movie for next year, I think it's like, uh, uh, Alien John 5 or something. Okay? Um, now, um, so, um, it was supposed to come out like last year or the year before, but it got delayed. And I have reshoots and all this stuff. And No Time to Die, supposed to be Daniel Cray, um, Black Game Bomber. And people are wondering who's going to be the next Game Bomber, and they had a lot of speculation and rumor and stuff like that. Uh, so, the last three or four months, I've been uh, uh, reviewing um, two or three Game Bomber a month. And then, because they stick Game Bomb after, so also what I've been doing two, the last two or three months is when when when, uh, when I spent reviewing all the uh, that after game bomber I will uh, re, uh, um, rank all their their movies their game bomber and work the best. So so um, when I got to uh, never think ever again, that's when. Um, after I spent reviewing, uh, spent reviewing, um, uh, Never Think Ever Again, that, then I turn around and rank all of, uh, all seven, uh, Sean Connery, Game Bombery, from work to best. Work when I think is the worst, and work when I think is in, in the best. You know, you know, from work to best. After I review Never Think Ever Again. Same thing with Joy Lazenby, after I review, uh, uh On Her Magic Secret Service, and then, um, same thing, after I review, um, View to Kill, then after I review View to Kill, I came back and, um, um, rank all of, uh, um, Roger Moore, um, uh, Jane Bomber from what to Best. Same thing with Timothy Dalton, Pierre Bronson, uh, but Daniel Cray, I won't, I won't be able to, um, I will, will, I will, for Daniel Cray, I will review, be able to review all, all, all four of his Jane Bomberry before No Time to Die comes out. But, I won't be able to rank them on what to bet because I haven't, I haven't seen, uh, No Time to Die yet. So, uh, ranking all five of his movies, his five Jane Bomberry, uh, come after No Time to Die come out, that means, uh, Daniel Craig will have made five game bombery. Uh, Christina Royale, Colin McDonald, uh, Skyfall, uh, Spectre, and No Time to Die. That five game bombery that Daniel Craig made. So after I review, review all five of them, including No Time to Die, then I'll come back and, uh, rank them from work to best. Okay? And that's the way I'll be doing the game bond uh, ranking, okay. Um, now, for some people, I imagine a lot of people, they will try to rank uh, all the all 24, 25, 26, however you want to say it. I think the 25 game bombery, if you if you count uh, No Time to Die that coming out, or the 26, if you count um, uh, Never Think Never Again, the seven. Um, 
Sean Connery, Jane Bomber. I came out the same year as Octopussy, okay? Uh, for me, I'm just ranking them like this. You know, after I, I uh, review uh, Liking the Kill, then I'll turn around and um, turn around and uh, um, review both of the, uh, I mean, rank both of the uh, Timothy Dawson Jane Bomber from what to best. And same thing with Pit Bonson. After I review all four of his game bomb movies, then I'll, then I'll turn around and uh, rank them from work to bed. Okay? Same thing with Daniel Craig. After I, re after I review all five of his game bomb movies, including No Time to Die, then I'll come back and rank them from work to bed. And that's the way I'm reviewing the game bomb movie and um, ranking them. Okay? So, um, so today, uh, I'm on uh, Timothy Dalton. I spent reviewing uh, both of his movies. He both of his game bomb movies. Uh, Living the Living in Daylight, which is his first one, and the second one, Liking to Kill. So it's time for me to uh, rank them from what to best. So it's very easy. Okay. Um, now. Um, So, did that take a little background to explain to y'all uh, what I'm doing, okay? So, um, so, Timothy Dawson is still, is still alive, um, and that's cool, um, um, the, uh, the Living in Daylight, Got seventy four percent on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Um, the audience gave it fifty six percent. Okay. Um, liking to kill. 77 percent uh yeah 77 percent the audience 51 percent okay um now um both of these movies I would say it's underrated. Uh, uh, I enjoy Timothy Dawson and Jane Bond. When I first saw uh, uh, Timothy Dawson and Jane Bond, and this, uh, both, uh, this is my, uh, this is my, uh, the, the Living in Daylight VHS tape from my childhood. When I first watched it, like, first three minutes of it, I thought it was a bad Jane Bond movie. Terrible. I didn't like them. Cause when I was little, I would used to. There were three game bond after that. Uh, that was my personal favorite and probably still my favorite. Uh, Sean Connery, Roger Moore, and Peter Blossom. Okay. Um. Just like uh, when, the, when I was little and I watched uh, All Her Majesty Take a Service for the first time I was little. I didn't like it. I thought it was corny, bad, dumb, stupid. Well, all the words you want to use. And over the years, I got older, I came to like uh, Timothy Dawson and uh, Joel Lazenby. And I think Timothy Dawson and Joel Lazenby is underrated. Okay? I think uh, On Her Majesty's Secret Service is underrated. Uh, you have some people that like it and say it's one of their favorite movies in James Bond franchise, other day it's one of the worst. Or the worst. Same thing with. Uh, Timothy Dawson. Some say The Living in Daylight and Life and Kill is one of the best. Some say those two are one of the worst up there with All Her Majesty's Secret Service. But I would say that Timothy Dawson and um, Drew Lady B are underrated game bond after I would I would I would say that I would like to think uh, Drew Lady B. Come back for uh, 
Batman Law Forever, and we do a, a revenge game bombery. Uh, Lightning to Kill, and Living in Daylight. Both good game bombery. But, um, I wish he would done the third game bombery that like he would vote to with a contract. Property of a Lady. Um, the, the watch one, I bought them. Uh, I don't think there is a bad one. Um, a two, a really good game bomb movie. And if you're a big, if you're a big game bomb fan, or I uh, highly recommend you. Okay. Uh, so I would say the watch one would be the living, the living uh, daylight. At the credit, consider this the best one out of the two. But I, I highly disagree. To me, this is the worst one. If I had to pick with the two that I were, if I had to only, uh, keep one of the, uh, the Timothy Dalton one that I would keep, the other one go away, this, be, this would be the one that I would, um, uh, throw away. Because it got some campy stuff in it, like the car with the laser, laser beam, um, like, the stuff at the beginning looked like they, uh, he's shooting, they're shooting stuff, like the, stuff with the, uh, Paintball gun, stuff like that. Um, but there are some good stuff in the movie. Um, this movie could have been PG-13, in my opinion. But there's some good uh, kill action. But, you know, the car, and the snow, with the laser beam, that kind of corny. But, it's underrated. So it's, um, uh, it's the worst one. The best one, and one of my favorite game bombery, probably it might be in my top five, at least top ten for me, Lightning the Kill. Um, I don't understand why the dip movie was a blocked off of failure, and, uh, you, you can read it for yourself. I read it before, I don't understand it, why the movie, um, put the franchise uh, and then they say that GoldenEye saved the franchise. This, to me, Lightning the Kill, Lightning the Kill was the one that, to me, it's just that good at GoldenEye. To me, even better. Lightning the Kill is very underrated. It's action packed from beginning to end. And to me, it's one of those game bombers that could have been made on. It had a lot of violence, and good, and it's Timothy Dalton best one. I did, I highly disagree with the, the critic, uh, or some article saying that The Living in Daylight is his best one. Uh, the Living in Daylight is still good, and still a really good game bombery, and better than a lot of game bombery, but I can kill is his best one. So, the ranking would be, for Timothy Dalton would be, his worst one is uh, The Living in Daylight, and his best one would be, um, I can kill. Okay? Uh, I'm sad that, uh, he didn't make a third one, which would have been called Property of a Lady. Uh, but that's my ranking. Let me know what your thoughts and opinion on Timothy Dalton and Game Bond. Um, uh, do you like him, don't like him? Do you like the movie? What would your ranking be? I told you my ranking is, his worst one would be The Living Daylight, his best one, and underrated would, is The Liking the Kill. And you're new to my channel. Hit the like button to cry and are you looking forward to no time to die and thank you and have a good day.